Hello, my name is Valentinos Papasavas and the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to start the environment of Ingress Vectorwise in Linux. First of all, we need to go to the directory of Ingress and execute this shell script. The purpose of this shell script is to enable all the shell scripts that are related to Ingress Vectorwise to run from the terminal. The next step is to start the servers of Ingress Vectorwise, which can be done through the command ink start. As we can see in the screen, the servers are running in localhost. After starting the servers, we can now start the command environment of the database. This can be done through the command SQL and the database instance name, which in our case is the data warehouse, which represents the data set of the airlines. Now we can see in our screen the user interface environment of Ingress Vectorwise which is very similar with the SQL plus of Oracle environment. Here we can execute our SQL queries. In order to see all the tables that are saved in the database, we execute the command help and the backslash g. And we can see in our screen the tables that are stored in our database. We are now going to execute a query from the one table test I made. Every time we execute an SQL query, we have to put in the end of the query the backslash g in order to define that the query is finished and is ready for execution. We copy the command, the SQL query that we are going to execute, and we paste it in the terminal. And this query is representing the percentage of delays for each career for 2010, and we press enter. We can see the results in the screen of the SQL query. In order now to see the query execution time, we need to navigate to ingress folder, then to the files folder, and then go down and find the vectorwise.log file. This file keeps everything that are happening in Ingress Vectorwise environment. If we go to the end of the file, we can find all the information about the query we executed now, the execution plan, and our execution time with how many results are returned for our query. In our, in our case, the time is 0 0.729 seconds. This time is representing the execution time of the query without the output time that is needed. We now go back to the terminal and in order to exit from the terminal, we just type backslash Q and we press enter. Now in order to stop all the servers that are related to Ingress Vectorwise, we just type the command ink stop, we press enter. And we can see in the mo in our screen that the Ingress Vectorwise is killing all the servers and instances that are related to the database. This is the end of the demonstration of Ingress Vectorwise.